Greetings friends, I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today we're going to show a little love to Edwin Jagger. I'm going to do an A to Z shave with just about all Edwin Jagger products and we're going to see how this turns out. As you can see, I've got a pretty substantial holiday beard growth after Thanksgiving type, you know, just let it go for a few days. That's what we got going on here. So let's see if we can get rid of this and I will do a complete shave from the HPSFF the Edwin Jagger Hydrating Pre-Shave Lotion. So I'll apply that first. And then we will go to the Premium Shaving Cream Sandalwood, right there. And then using an Edwin Jagger rubber coated chrome razor and matching brush. It's a pretty nice little set right there. I like the way they look. And they both feel great in the hand with the rubber coating, very tactile, easy to hold on to. I'll try this little Edwin Jagger shaving bowl. It's a palm bowl, just fits in the palm. We'll see how it works out. And then the blade will be feather. Edwin Jagger doesn't make blades. If you buy this razor from Shave Nation, it comes with one feather blade. So let's do that right now. And I will finish off the shave with Edwin Jagger Sandalwood Aftershave Balm. So all the products are sandalwood, layering up on top of each other. Here we go. Here's a look at the razor. This is the black rubber coated and chrome. It has a flat bar or closed comb. You've got chrome banding that tapers at the top and then a chrome band that reads Edwin Jagger. It's laser inscribed in the band. Then vertical rubber coated lines, very easy to grip. Even with wet or shaving cream laden fingers. That says Sheffield, England around the bottom. And then at the upper portion here, that reads Edwin Jagger. Right there. Here's the Sheffield, England portion at the bottom. Very bottom of the razor, just smooth chrome. And the brush is the same thing. It's got Edwin Jagger around the upper band, chrome band, and then the vertical rubber coated lines for easy grip. The very bottom is just smooth. No logo on there. And this is a black synthetic bristle on this brush. And I noticed that it's not too much of a flop. It's got a pretty good backbone to it, which is nice. I'll give you the specs on this razor. This razor weighs in at 2.6 ounces or 74 grams. The overall length from top to bottom is 3.66 inches or 93 millimeters. Just long enough to drop in the palm and spin when you're shaving with it. Let's disassemble. Three-piece razor, top cap, safety bar, and it's got the little Edwin Jagger Shield logo inscriptions on there. You can see that. Here's the other side right there. Here's the bottom side of the top cap. Let's grab our feather blade. Here's what it looks like in the paper. Let's remove that. Feather high stainless. Right there. Let's drop that right over the post and the two pins, like so. And then reinstall with the shields facing the blade. You want that rounded portion exposed because when you reassemble the handle, it drops right into that indent and locks everything in place, just like that. Here's a look at the blade reveal. Check that, perfectly even on both sides. Got some fingerprints on there. I'm gonna take this brush, just soak it in my skull cup, just to warm up those bristles, saturate them a little bit. I'll let that sit for a second. I'm gonna run this palm bowl under the hot water. I'll take the Edwin Jagger Sandalwood Shaving Cream and I'm gonna squirt a little bit into the bottom. Right there. We'll see about that much. Looks like spaghetti, doesn't it? Looks like the real thin pasta. All right, a couple shakes, pour out the water. Let's go right in here. I don't know if we'll be able to mix a, a big lather in this bowl. This is more like, you know, drop your shaving cream in and then face lather, which is most likely what we're gonna do. I'm getting some suds there. You can see it. 
man down, lost a little bit, but I don't want to lather too much. The bowl is small, so it doesn't hold a lot of cream, but it will allow you to saturate your tips and get you ready for your shave. There we go, got enough lather there, we can do it. I'm gonna warm up my face, we'll apply the pre-shave, we'll get right to the shave. All right, ideally you wanna shower before you shave, but I just used some hot water and kept splashing it on to hydrate the beard that way. Here's the Edwin Jagger Hydrating Pre-Shave Lotion, HPSFF. Got about that much. Massage it together directly into the skin. This will help saturate, soften the beard, prepare it for the shave ahead. Vigorously massage that in. It's got a little bit of a tingle to it. I can feel it working, softening things up. You can let that, ideally, let that soak in for 30 seconds to a minute. And then you want to grab your shaving cream. You know, apply the shaving cream directly over that hydrating pre-shave lotion. Just like this. Oh, I actually got plenty of lather out of that. Out of that small bowl, it works fine. You can paint it, you can dab it, swirl it, figure eight, smooth everything out, set the brush down. Swipe, swipe. Clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. Here we go, wet fingers on the razor, easy to grip. Under the hot water, let's find our angle, work our way down. You can start below the sideburn, work your way up to get that straight line. The heavier beard growth is going to take shorter strokes. I'm trying to stretch it into longer strokes. Very nice, removing my beard easily. I think the hydrating pre-shave really helped. One side full, flip it over, carry on down the neckline. The feather blade and this razor, good combination. Both sides are filled, rinse it. Rinses out very easily in just a couple seconds. Now the left side, find your angle, that sideburn, make that line, work your way down. Shaves evenly on both sides of the blade. That's how you know the blade reveal is very good. Equally balanced on both sides. Cleft. One side is filled. Flip it over. Still I'm feeling a little bit of tingling from the pre-shave. It feels nice. Both sides filled, rinse off. Mustache area, just scoop under the nose. Little clean up. Very good, rinse that. Quick rinse to the face. Just leave the residual shaving cream on. It'll keep it nice and slick for you. Now you just grab your brush and your bowl. We're gonna relather for our second pass. Right here. Just a light coating. Whoa, it's really, whoo, really feels cool now. I didn't know this sandalwood was gonna feel that cool on the skin. But with the bulk of the beard removed, you can really feel that penetration of the cooling onto the skin or into the skin. Figure eight. Set that down. 
Swipe. Swipe. Clear the runways once again. All right, the first pass was with the grain north to south. We'll now go across the grain. Progressive beard reduction. Remove a little bit more of the beard with each pass. You may even be able to complete your shave in one pass. But for me, it's usually two, sometimes three. Both sides filled, rinse that. I'm still getting tingling on the neck, feels great. Okay, against the grain on the neck. Beautiful, rinse that. Now across under the mustache. Just start with the corner, directly under the nose. Clean out those hairs that are difficult to get to, and then lay it flat. Same thing in the reverse on the other side. Lay it flat. Beautiful shave. See that? Drops right in the palm. Spin it. Nice and easy. Quick rinse, nice and smooth. Now, if your baby's smooth right now, you can stop. I'll just show you really quickly. If you wanna get your cheeks baby smooth, super smooth, just do this. I'm gonna stretch the skin. You're gonna do against the grain pass. Only do this after you've gone with and across, then go against. If you go against on the first pass, you're going to get some irritation for sure. But this way, you'll be good. So you don't want to scrape, but you want to start like this and find that sweet spot. Raise that handle till you get just that little skim, skimming of the final layer of the beard. Removing that. Stretching the skin with the opposite hand. Other side, same thing. Don't scrape, but skim. Just find that sweet spot. All right, let's rinse that. Final rinse of the razor and a cold water rinse to the face. Whew, that cold water is super refreshing. Feels great on the skin. Okay, Edwin Jagger makes an alum block, but guess what, I forgot to bring one. So we're gonna use the Shave Nation Wide Stick alum block. Remove the cap under the cold water. Just glide that all around the areas you shaved. Tighten the skin, give you a little feedback on your shave. If you get some stinging, you went a little too close. If you got any mini little weepers or nicks, this will seal them off. Feels like a nice cold ice cube gliding across the skin. Excellent finish to the shave. Cap that, set it off to the side, then let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. I'm still getting Nice and cold feeling. Nice mentholated. I'm not even sure whether it's coming from the pre-shave lotion or the sandalwood aftershave balm. Let's pat the face dry. Why do you pat? It's better for the skin. You don't want to be tugging and pulling and rubbing on your skin. Just pat it dry. Take care of your skin. It'll last you a while. Do you know that the skin is the largest organ on or in the body. That's your trivia tip for today. Okay, what's next? Here we go. Edwin Jagger Moisturizing Aftershave Lotion Sandalwood. Remove the cap. It's, it's a pump, so that's nice. Just pumps right out. Very light sandalwood scent. Nice thick balm, though. Massage that directly into the skin. Oh, I even took too much. 
could have taken less. Forehead, you can do your forehead as long as you don't break out. Wow, I didn't know I took that much. So a little bit goes a really long way. Just take, take half of what I took. I'm gonna have to blot some of this out. So it must be highly concentrated because a little really does go a long way. There we go. If that ever happens, just grab a towel, a dry clean towel and dab it on there to remove the excess. Massage the remaining amount in and you're good to go. Look at that, cheeks, mustache, chin, neck, everything baby smooth. Really nice shave. Excellent shave provided by all these Edwin Jagger products. This razor, the black rubber coated with the black rubber coated brush. It's rubber coated and chrome. It's a nice accent. They both match up together. Makes for a nice little set. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click down below the video where it says more or show more. And there will be links. You just click on them. It'll take you right to the product. You can pick it up if you want to. All these fantastic products. Edwin Jagger. Hydrating pre-shave lotion, Edwin Jagger, sandalwood shaving cream, followed up by the Edwin Jagger moisturizing aftershave balm. Excellent finish to the shave. And highly concentrated, one squirt. Don't even use two squirts. You can always add more. You won't waste it like I did. I put a little too much, but I'll know for next time. Excellent shave provided with this razor. I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna give this razor I'll say a six on the aggressive scale of one to 10. I had two or three day beard growth and it removed it very easily. Did a fantastic job, very comfortable. I'm baby smooth, right there. Really nice, ready to conquer the world. If you wanna pick up any of these items, just click down below the video where it says more or show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. For the brush, enter SN425. For the razor, enter SN1401. It'll pop right up, you can grab them. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, over 600 videos, shaving and more. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. have a great shave, have a great day. I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shape, have a great day.